Hello, everyone. I just want to give kudos to that umbrella guy for doing what almost none of these other channels do. He actually called out the problem, the source of the problem. And just to compare him to losers like Yellow Flash 2, who can't even say the word feminist, this guy, Umbrella, he goes beyond feminist and actually talks about society in general being misinterest. And so Yellow, or should say, Umbrella guy, thank you. And we'll play some of your video just to show people what I'm talking about. A handbook for people like that certain nameless person to destroy men's lives entitled How to Destroy a Man Now. This is quite literally the handbook on manufacturing and leveraging false accusations, telling women that you've been oppressed since the beginning of time because of men's physical advantages, but now, in today's modern society, the table is finally turning. It talks about the power of communication and accusation, aka spreading rumors rumors to undermine men and boys, that being power, while also telling you that ruining men's lives, oh, that's not a bad thing. Why? Because this, it's about the struggle against patriarchy. There you go. He's talking about patriarchy. He's talking about men and boys, which is something that these other channels, these cope channels, never do. And they, they would never talk about this book which by the way, has been published. So we know this problem is not uh, weirdos. That's what the losers would call them, weirdos. They're not weirdos, they're the average person on the street. Book publishers, I believe he's, uh, Umbrella Guy says that it was found on Amazon. So we'll hear. This book, it goes as far as how to craft allegations, telling you these are the sites that you want to utilize, this is what you want to say about someone if you want to damage them, while celebrating what this does to people's lives and saying, hey, maybe if you're lucky, it'll drive them to that ultimate end. Now, you and I... Yes, he just want to say <laughs> that word, and I better not say it just because I want this video shown, I want his video seen. That's the end goal, is that men take their own lives. That's the end goal. This is a hate movement that a publisher was willing to write up, to, to, to publish a, a, a how-to book to falsely accuse men and destroy him ultimate end. Now, you and I, we're going to look over this today and really think about the society that allows this to happen and people like, I don't know, a certain nameless person and the person they accused. It Thank you, Umbrella Guy. You said society. You are 100% on point, sir. I thank you for this. You are 100% correct. You are not talking about the elites <laughs> or some other group. You're not blaming toxic masculinity or weak men. You're talking about society. And exactly how this stuff ends. Oh, man. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing splendidly. And when we're going over this, I want you to remember one thing. I want you to remember that this, it's become so societally acceptable that you can not only talk about this right out in the open, but this, it's sold to you in bookstores like Amazon. You have other places that sold this as well. Yeah. Thank you. Umbrella guy, thank you again. He's talking about that it's society, people in general. And like I said, it was Amazon. I mean, who's bigger than Amazon? Corporations sell man hatred. <sighs> you know, would they allow a book uh, from the KKK? or the white nationalist telling you how to destroy minority races, they wouldn't. They'd call it what it is, hate speech, and not allow it. And here, they're allowing some author to make money off of hatred.
Yep, brought to you on your shelves because destroying a man's life, hey, that's somehow A-OK. -okay. Now, the craziest thing about this isn't just what it's saying to do. It's also how it breaks it down because this, it's broken down like a kid's book. You By the way, Umbrella Guy, uh, just one little correction. It's not crazy. It's hateful. This is just proper framing. Just, just, just let you know can see this here. Let's begin with our introductions. We have three key friends. The first ally that we have is Allison Allegation. Allegations can be so simple, effective, and easy to employ that it's elegant. An allegation is a claim, usually without proof, that someone has done something illegal or wrong. A claim, at minimum, requires nothing more than an assertion. From lying to murder, any behavior that you've heard of, seen, experienced, or could think of that violates an ethical or legal standard can suffice for an allegation. There you go. They're admitting that you just tell a lie. This handbook only works, by the way, umbrella guy, for women. A man could not accuse a woman like this and just be believed. And the police would investigate, too, and probably jail him for, you know, making a false accusation. This handbook works because society is in on it. However, it's the last part of what constitutes an allegation that makes it uniquely useful. No evidence is required. This independence from proof allows you to make an allegation about any man doing anything without being encumbered by a need for facts. Now, yeah, exactly. Now, Umbrella Guy, we need to fix this, don't we? That's why an effective MRM is necessary now more than it ever has been. Because Umbrella Guy, that just means someone has to accuse you and your life is over. This tells you that allegation alone, oh no, that's not enough. Nope, it needs a friend in Mary Media. Media, that encompasses just about any means of communication. And as far as how leveraging Twitter, Facebook, the internet, mainstream media, and on works, they tell you, you've probably heard of the philosophical question, if a tree falls in the woods and no one hears it, does it make a sound? Although the answer to that question is still debated, it's certain that if an allegation is made and no one knows about it, it has no power. Fortunately, they tell you, however, the opposite. It's also true. The more people who know about an allegation, the more powerful it becomes. So just spreading this thing alone. Again, thank you, Umbrella Guy. Thank you. You are admitting that the media is involved. And it's not a Pacific media, is it? Even though there are those publications like The Guardian that are particularly bad, this handbook is mentioning you don't need a specific one. They're all involved has the ability to destroy lives. They go on to say that thankfully for Allison Allegation and for their purposes, the modern mainstream media excel at spreading information far and wide. They do it for many, many reasons. But when it comes to breaking news, well, the bigger, bolder the claim, the more salacious the content is, the better it spreads. Worried about legal consequences? Well, they tell you, you probably shouldn't. And if you get the media to pick it up, they won't face anything whatsoever. She's right about that, eh? What was it? A Johnny Depp? <laughs> he failed in England, didn't he? In the UK. He didn't get to what he, he sold that magazine and it didn't work. Exactly. <laughs> you know that, right, Umbrella Guy? So she, this handbook is right about that again. Apparently, as long as the media mention that the scandal is an allegation, they are relatively safe from legal repercussions. That is because, in free speech societies, people can voice opinions and unsubstantiated claims. Further, the media can always attest that they're not making the allegation, rather, they're reporting it. But, in truth, the media actually do make that allegation by the way they report it. Not Thank you again.
umbrella guy. This guy, this is gold. I know I should have just stopped there and said, okay, listen to umbrella guys video and you don't have to watch this one. You can just go right to this video if you want to for any of you umbrella guy fans, right? But he's pointing it out 100%. Again, this video of mine is just to point out, this is how it's done. This is how it's done. This is finally truth being spoken. Not reporting it, but the method by which they report. Lastly, they tell you about Arthur Authority. And Arthur Authority has the duty to step in. And it's the authority that really helps us put the destroy and destroy a man. Now, authority is defined as any person or organization that has the power to control, direct, punish, and on. And that's exactly the kind of power that they want to have when they want to destroy a man. Now, examples of this, and you've seen this a lot. You have judges, police, bosses, human resource departments, etc., etc., saying that Arthur Authority is actually an artifact of the patriarchy and chivalry. As Daddy Knight, he takes pride in his role as guardian and savior, especially of the weak, the mistreated, the violation, and so on. He strives to be the hero who saves the damsel in distress. In other words, a th Thank you again, Umbrella Guy. He's admitting that judges and police are very anti-male they're made up of people and the average guy wants to be the white knight who rescues the girl you're right umbrella guy i know this is <laughs> this is a very unusual video of mine because it's just me agreeing with him but this is important this is important that you Give kudos to the guys who get it right. Authority caters to victims, and no one gets Arthur Authority's attention more than a call to action to save victims. Now, the worst part of this section, and something that you've seen practiced in real world, is the idea that the worse the accusation is, the better it is for the person that's out there making the accusation. So, come up with more egregious ones, they tell them. Now, they go over a list of these, too. And this... That's right. Uh, aim for the crotch. The, you know, hit for the... <laughs> aim for the fences, right? And this works out very well, Umbrella Guy, because they want to destroy the man. So it's, it's great for them to know that the, the harder they hit, the better it works list. I mean, you've seen this game played again and again. Everything from the worst types of violation against the person that's saying this to them bringing in children and on. With the reminder that leveraged property, punitive action can occur and punitive action that usually entails substantial loss, such as termination of employment, loss of income, loss of education or certification, loss of social status or good reputation, loss of financial financial savings, and loss of freedom. With a smeared reputation, a record of alleged misconduct, they remind a person no one will want to be associated with the accused, no one will want to employ him, no one will ever want to help him, and more importantly for these folks, no one will ever want to believe him. Then they talk about... Perfect. You know, some, I'm not going to go any further on Barla Guy. Because frankly, you got it. I'd rather people just go right to your video and watch this. You deserve your subscriber count as far as I'm concerned. Now, also before I go any further, maybe I, I got to hold back because I have been disappointed so many times in the past, right? But I, I want to give kudos to this specific video of yours because it hits all the, the nails on the head, hits all the right notes. You are not, what are you calling? You're not posturing. Uh, you're not misinforming. Uh, you're not saying uh, these people, you know, are or weirdos or, or just stupid people you're you've got it you're willing to say this is something that is attacking men specifically 
you are willing to admit that society as a whole is in on it and you're actually informing the average man of something that's very important that they need to know. So like again, so I will put your video in my description box, but still, I just want to give you kudos. Thank you. And we'll end it here.